Boy, I'll be glad when I don't have to screw with this stuff anymore. The mounts are almost ready to be made. Hopefully, all my measurements paid off. Stay tuned. <laughs>
So what I did, and I'll go down here and show you. What I did up here is that suspension arm there needs to be, well, with that upside down, needs to be 180 degrees, totally level. You can see just by the video that that's not perfect yet. Um, one reason is the tire over here is actually an inch shorter. It's two inches shorter, but an inch shorter on both sides. So I need to raise the tire up an inch. Then I need to raise the uh, the cradle here in it, or uh, maybe about a quarter. So that should be that should be put me right at 180 degrees or zero degrees here. Once I get that done, then I can using this bolt for the bottom of the coilover, or sorry with my finger there, or the airbag over, whatever you want to say. Once I get that there, then I can measure my height, and then I will know that it's two about two inches of travel at the shock. So when I come out here, I can measure how much travel I have at the wheel. Let me climb back out of here. Um, Sorry about that. So that I know exactly how low my body can go um, to, to not interfere with the fender. So that's sort of where I'm at now. I'm hoping this weekend I can get all of those measured, um, get these cut out, relieved where I need to be. Um, not as much relief as I thought I was gonna need, but um, I still needed to cut what I have there out. I'll have to cut back here up a little bit because it's gonna be really close there. It's already about an inch, so um, I'm pretty sure the body's gonna go down two or three more inches. I did get uh, a super cheap uh, plasma cutter to help cut this stuff. Um, I didn't go with the Harbor Freight, though. I did a lot of YouTube research and found this one. So that's going to help me cut the angles and whatnot here. And then when, when I do the boxing for this frame, it'll help me cut that sheet um, and not have to use a grinder. So as I mentioned in the last part of this video, I did, I did uh, use this. Mag drill. I cleaned it all up, re-greased it. So I'll sell that, and from what I make from that, it'll pay for the pay for the uh, plasma cutter, and we should be good. So um, just want to give you a quick update before I start welding. In the next video, it'll be it'll start showing the mounts that I uh, that I brought that I'm gonna make. So anyway. Not much, not much of a video, but it's going to show you how to, how to, uh, how to mount a subframe, if nothing else. Thanks.